three hots and a cot means three hot meals a day and a place to sleep. It can also mean prison. Theo St. Main and Debbie Fuhrer base their play Three Hots and a Cot on their experiences working at a federal prison. They brought songwriter Greg Hintermeister on board and turned it into a musical. Twenty years ago, Debbie and I were teaching a theater therapy class at a federal prison. And during that period of time, we workshopped a play with the inmates, uh, and that play became Three Hots in a Cot. The uh, whole reason that we started doing theater therapy was uh, I was doing my internship in counseling, and uh, I thought, you know, it'd be great is if we could teach our uh, students and mates vicariously what are the consequences of their actions and then maybe we could do it through theater where they try different roles on and um, Bureau of Prisons <laughs> was, was uh, a little looking at that a little askance like Wait, what are you doing theater therapy and so it took me about six months to convince them that this was a good idea and I think it's still going on now like none of them can make it on the outside. They have a real convict mentality, a lot of them. Hey, Vic! Last year, I found an old copy of the script as I was going through a file cabinet. And I said, wait, we were always going to do this on the outside because we've only done it one time on the inside of the Federal Medical Center. So I called up Theo and said, remember we were always going to do this show, Three Hots and a Cot, and we thought this is the best time to do it. And um, we thought, you know, we could probably use a little more music because we just had a couple of songs. And so then I kind of sidled up to Greg and said, hey, you want to do a couple of songs? And then you could tell him what it really turned in. So then we started working on the songs and uh, we did a couple, you know, wrote a couple. And uh, I guess you liked them because now there's eight or nine songs in the, sh in the show. Uh, so it really has turned out into a, a, a very, for me, a very interesting mix of, of drama and comedy and music and even dance, and it's, it's, it's very interesting. That whole environment behind the razor wire it, uh, is kind of unknown to most of us on the outside. And we heard things that uh, were really compelling and interesting, like that uh, a, a fellow might really miss drinking out of a glass glass, something that I never would have thought of, or driving a car. Obviously, inmates aren't driving cars for years at a time. That you know, someone would miss that. I, I just hadn't even thought of that. Um, or I had, a, I heard, an overheard a conversation between two inmates one time, where they were talking about what kind of soap did they buy at the commissary, and whether or not the soap dried out their skin. And these were big, tough-looking guys. But that, that attention to those small things, because they don't have a lot of choice on the inside, uh, was something that really struck both of us and something we wanted to uh, insert in the stories that we told. The rep was very welcoming to allow us to bring in a show we've never done outside of prison and do it here at the rep. And they were um, very open to having the world premiere of this play, world premiere on the outside, be at their theater. Oh, 